Well, school is almost out, and some parents in the area are asking Governor Cuomo to let their kids stop wearing masks. Yeah, they say the kids are suffering in the heat. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports from Carl Place. Masks are off almost everywhere you go, but in school, they're still mandatory. With only days left in the school year, Unmask our kids. a call to make it a local school district decision. We haven't seen any science backing up why our children are still in school wearing masks. Parents in Coral Place say their kids now allowed maskless outdoor play are suffering indoors. They're sweating in school with masks on and can't breathe or getting nosebleeds. There's concerts, no masks. There's there's sporting events, no masks. Why do kids have to be prisoners in school? Not all students agree. These vaccinated high schoolers say masks still make sense in a setting where not everyone's vaccinated. I don't know everybody that everybody else is vaccinated, so it just makes me feel safer. I'd rather be safe than sorry and take into consideration other people's um, safety and how they feel in school. It's really just all about empathy. New York, in consultation with the CDC, kept masks required in schools for several reasons, among them the low adolescent vaccine the adolescents are still serving not only as a reservoir of infection, but they themselves are getting infected and getting sick and on being admitted to the hospital. Stony Brook's chief of pediatric infectious diseases adds children are still spreading COVID to adults, including dangerous variants. They are the cause for about a quarter of all new COVID infections in New York at this time. The governor has said the safest course for now is for students to keep masks on indoors and then revisit the issue in the fall when there's more time to prepare. But parents here say ask the little ones. You can't breathe. You can't breathe with the mask? It's too hot to breathe. Hoping for one maskless day before school's out. In Coral Place, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.